Hello everyone. Welcome to edupediaworld.com and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. This is Vikas Patil. This is the fifth session of the chapter The Geographic Grid System of Earth. In this session, we are going to learn about the relationship between the lines of longitude and time. In this session, we are going to try and achieve the following objectives. Develop understanding about the concept of global time. Develop understanding about the relationship between lines of longitude and time. Compare and contrast the standard time and local time. Acquire knowledge about the important terms like IDL, IST, GMT, etc. Before we begin our exploration about the lines of longitude, let us look at some of the common misconceptions that exist regarding lines of longitude and time. First, many people believe that sun rises in Japan every day. Some people believe that the islands located on 180 degree longitude in Pacific Ocean experience two dates on the same land. Every country has only one standard time. All the countries of South Asia follow one standard time. All these are misconceptions. Let us find out what the true facts are. Each day we notice that the sun rises in the east and appears to move across the sky from east to west. The apparent movement of the sun is caused due to the rotation of earth on its axis from west to east direction. This daily motion of the earth is the best way to deal with time. As earth completes one rotation in 24 hours, it makes a 360 degree circle. This tells us the distinct relationship between the longitudinal location of a place and time. In 24 hours, every part of the earth faces the sun directly once. This is the time when the sun is at the highest point in the sky. We call it a midday or noon at the meridian. Comparing the time of noon at different places, we can identify their longitudinal location and vice versa. Earth's one rotation, which is 360 degrees, takes 24 hours to complete, which means that the time difference between two successive lines of longitude will be 4 minutes. The meridians towards the east will be ahead in time, while the meridians towards the west will be behind in time. Local Time As the earth rotates, every meridian faces the sun directly once every day. This is the time all places on a particular meridian will see the sun at its highest position in the sky, the meridian. This time becomes the noon for the meridian. The local time of a place is fixed on the basis of meridian. Since midday occurs at different times at different places, the local time varies from place to place. Any place which is located to the east of another place will have midday earlier as the earth rotates from, from west to east. Let us understand this with the help of an example. Let's compare three cities of India, Delhi, Mumbai and Kolkata. Delhi 
is located towards the east of Mumbai and west of Kolkata. As the earth rotates from west to east, Kolkata will face the sun before Delhi and Mumbai. Therefore, it will experience midday before Delhi and Mumbai. All the places located on the line of longitude on which Kolkata is located will experience midday at the same time and have same local time. Delhi will face the sun after Kolkata but before Mumbai due to which it will experience midday after Kolkata but before Mumbai whereas Mumbai which is on the west of both Delhi and Kolkata will face sun last and experience midday after Delhi and Kolkata. All the three places will have different local times. Standard Time As mentioned in the previous example, different places in the same country are located on different lines of longitude and therefore will have different local time. This will create a lot of confusion regarding time in the country. In countries which have a great east-west extent, the variation in local time is more. Even in India, the difference is almost one and a half hour. If every place in India followed its own local time, there would be confusion over railway timings, flight timings, etc. To solve this problem, the local time of a particular meridian is taken as the standard time for the entire region or the whole country. In India, the local time at Allahabad, which is located at 82 degrees 30 minutes east meridian, is taken as the standard meridian time. This is known as the Indian standard time. This meridian was chosen because it passes through more or less the center part of India. Most standard meridians pass through almost the middle of their respective countries and are also multiples of 7.5. GMT stands for Greenwich Mean Time. The time at Greenwich is known as the Greenwich Mean Time. It is the standard time for UK. The standard time for all other countries are expressed as a difference in the number of hours from the GMT. The IST that is Indian standard time is 5 hours 30 minutes ahead of GMT. Time zones some countries in the world have very large longitudinal extent. One standard time for these countries will not be enough to provide uniformity of time. To reduce confusion among countries across the globe regarding time, the world is divided into 24 time zones of 1 hour each. Each time zone covers 15 degrees of longitude. Areas in a time zone follow the same time. Most countries falling in the same time zone will have same standard time. There are some exceptions as some countries choose one standard meridian despite having large longitudinal extent. On the other hand, there are countries like USA, Australia, which have more than one time zones. International date line. Since there are 360 degrees of longitude, if the time at GMT 
is 4 a.m. on Tuesday. The time at 180 degree east meridian will be 12 hours ahead that is 4 p.m. Tuesday while at 180 degrees west meridian it will be 4 p.m. Monday. As a result of this there will be a difference of 24 hours on both sides of 180 degree meridian. To address this issue, the international date line has been accepted by all countries of the world at the 180 degree meridian. The international date line does not follow the 180 degree meridian exactly. It makes some adjustments bending at places to avoid land masses in the form of small islands present in the Pacific. While crossing this line eastwards, travelers gain a day and while traveling westwards, travelers lose a day. Quite interesting. Time Calculation GMT Greenwich Mean Time serves as a reference point for calculation of time. Let's understand how time is calculated with the help of longitudinal locations. All the places which are towards the east of a meridian will be ahead when compared with the time of that meridian and the places towards the west of that meridian will be behind in time. There is a difference of 4 minutes of time between every two successive lines of longitude. Let's look at some examples. If GMT that is 0 degrees has 11 a.m. then IST which is 82 and a half degrees towards the east of GMT will be exactly 330 minutes that is 5 hours 30 minutes ahead of GMT. So the time at IST will be 4.30 p.m. Let's take another example. If the time at GMT is 1 p.m., what would be the time at San Francisco, which is 122 degrees west? Well, since San Francisco is towards the west, it will be behind the time of GMT. The longitudinal difference between both the places is 122 degrees which makes 488 minutes that is 8 hours and 8 minutes of time difference. As San Francisco is towards the west of GMT it will be behind in time. So the time at San Francisco will be 1 p.m. minus 8 hours 8 minutes that is 4.52 a.m. One more example. Let's assume New York which is 73 degrees west has 12 a.m. that is midnight. The longitudinal difference between New York and Shanghai will be 73 degrees plus 122 degrees that is 195 degrees time difference will be 195 degrees multiplied by 4 minutes that makes 780 minutes or 13 hours as Shanghai is towards the east of New York it will be ahead in time so the time at Shanghai will be 12 a.m. plus 13 hours is equal to 
1 pm. That was all for this session. In the next session, we will begin the next chapter. Don't forget to watch. Thank you.